be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it's nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing in them to die to sleep no more and by sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to It's a consummation devoutly to be wished to die to sleep to sleep perchance to dream that is the rub for in that sleep of death what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil we skip his paws there's the respect that makes calamity of so long life for, for who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor is wrong. The proud man's contumely. The pangs of despised love. The lost delay. The insolence of office. The response that the patient merit of the unworthy takes when he he himself might as quite as make with a bare bodkin. Who would father spare to grant it sweat under her very life, but that to tell of something after death? The undiscovered country from whose born no traveller returns puzzles the will and, and makes us rather bear those ills than fly to others that we know not of. This conscience does make cover of us all. And thus the native view of resolution is sicklied over with pale cast of thought and enterprises of great pitch and moment. With this regard there, the current stone or I and lose the name of action. Softly now, fair Ophelia, nymph in thy horizons. Be all my sins remembered.